We're going to explore a few more details about assignment statements and references to data objects. And what we want to look at are a few of the nuances that are related to how Python interprets these statements and how execution of these statements in a sequential manner affects the reference relationships or the reference diagrams that we end up with. So, for example, let's just assume that we went to the grocery store and we bought some apples. Let's say we bought 10 apples. So maybe I want to represent that by creating an assignment statement that apples is going to be a reference to the data object 10. And maybe I also bought some bananas. Maybe I bought five bananas. So we'll make bananas a reference to the data object 5. Now, one thing I could ask is how many pieces of fruit did I buy? So we know that we can add apples and bananas together and in fact I can create an assignment statement here fruit equals the result of adding apples and bananas and when I do that the value of fruit of course is 15. Now let's just take a look at what we've done pictorially. So the first thing we did was create a reference where apples is a reference to the data object 10. The next thing that we did was create the identifier bananas to be a reference to the data object 5. And then the next step was to create an assignment statement where apples referring to 10 and bananas referring to 5, 10 and 5 get added together, and the result is the data object 15, and then the name fruit is made to refer to 15. And of course we can see that when we evaluate fruit, we get the result that we would expect. But now let's look at something that might not be quite so obvious. What if I now decided to eat one of my apples? If I eat an apple, then the number of apples has actually reduced to 9. So if I perform an assignment statement, apples refers to the value or the data value data object 9 we know that the number of fruit total is now 14 but if I look at the value of fruit it's still 15 why would that be? well if we go back over to our picture when we modified the reference from Apple, what we did is we said we're going to do an assignment statement where apples is now going to refer to no longer the data object 10, but rather we're going to have apples refer to the data object 9. But notice when I evaluate fruit, fruit is still referring to the data object 15. In other words, the assignment statement that fruit is equal to apples plus bananas does not modify or change as I change the value of apples and bananas. But instead it represents a point in time evaluation of the value of how many apples, the value of how many bananas. If I would like the new amount of fruit to be correct, I would actually have to perform that assignment statement again. If I do that, now the value of fruit is 14. And of course, on our diagram, we know what has happened. The value of apples is 9. The value of bananas is 5. Add those together, we get the data value 14. And then fruit is no longer going to refer to 15, but rather 
it's now going to refer to the data object 14.